Okay, so this is a mnemonics on macro minerals, and this is be one story, one picture, so you can memorize it um, and the relationships of them together, then having seven different um, pictures. So we have magnesium, potassium, sodium chloride, calcium, phosphorus, and sulfur, and I made a key. So each one's going to have similar characters, um, each um, each mineral. So we have like muscle contraction will be in the upper arm will be muscles drawn and in nerves, if it's good for nerves, then lightning bolt and bones, legs, protein synthesis will be protein, like, you know, bro, come on, bro. Like it's your, like your friend, your brother, and it's gonna be a teenager. Blood pressure will be a heart and then fluid balance will be tears. So it's good to have a key. And sometimes you can use the same key throughout all your studies. And I do one with numbers you know, one to 10 and draw characters for each number. And then I can use that for things I need to memorize numbers for. Okay, so we're gonna start with magnesium and magnesium we said was uh, magnum. So here's our magnum. Um, if you notice, magnum has a lightning bolt, which is for nerves. Uh, so magnesium for nerves, for muscles, you see the bones in the legs and then Let's put up some of the things that stand out about magnesium is pancreatic hormone and protein synthesis. So you see the pancakes that he's holding. So that helps you to remember that. And then we're gonna put our protein up there. And then we have, it's really good for immune system and you could draw anything for an immune system that you re retain it. You could um, put a shield on the back or hanging it on his arm. I just didn't wanna make it too crowded in that picture for you, but you can add things that you're gonna need to know for your boards or just for memory that you wanna see the importance of magnesium. And so next we're gonna do chloride. And so with chloride, I do Chloe cried. And you'll see, this is such a cute little Chloe. She's crying. We don't know yet why she's crying, uh, but she is. That also means that chloride is good for fluid balance in the body. If you notice in the key, and then you see there's a little lightning bolt. I have it like in a barrette in her hair. And then if you can see um, around the stomach, it has a little picture of acid because it's really good for. Um, let me put that down there. Acid base balance is what chloride is really good for. So your hydrochloric acid in the stomach and the acidity and so we're not really sure why she's crying but if we, we move on to the next one um, maybe we can get a, a good picture memory of this so um, sodium i think of uh, sodium like so did mum like in a british way so we have our sodium and so i'm going to put it like this sodium so did mum so so did mum mum also cried right so chloe cried Sodium, sodium, sodium mum cried, which means that's also fluid balance. We have two right there, they're fluid balance. Um, sodium mum is also for controlling blood pressure. And um, she has muscles in the arms and she's got um, the lightning bolt in her hand. So that's gonna be nerves and muscles. And so, we, we see that they're crying. Let's see, we're gonna to go to one more character over here. So potassium. With potassium, I think a possum. And so I just put a possum right there. So potassium, possum. And let's see what the possum is doing. So the possum is also crying and it has a lightning bolt. So nerves has a heart on its chest for, um, for blood pressure. And it also has muscles in the front legs, as you might be able to notice that with the possum's drawing. So um, the reason that he's the possum's crying is because Soda Mom stepped on the possum's tail. And so that made Chloe cry. So Chloe cried, uh, Soda Mom cry. And of course the possum's gonna cry because he just got his tail stepped on and it made his heart beat faster. Uh, so uh, potassium is, really important for intracellular fluid. And so you could uh, draw, um, it's also in every tissues. So one thing I was thinking you could do is, I, like I said, I didn't wanna crowd this up too much, but give you some ideas. You could draw like little shredded tissues like um, your pets have, you know, like they're, they're bedding. You could draw some tissues underneath them, or you could draw like it going into its cell, like a little cage that's going into for the intracellular fluid. So um, those are some ways to remember 
potassium, which is opossum. So potassium, opossum. So you've got the three that are the fluid balancers, the chloride, sodium, and um, so, sorry, sodium, and the potassium. Okay, the next one we're going to do is sulfur. And with sulfur, it sounds to me like suffer. And so let's, um, I like this one, but um, let's see what suffering looks like. So you have this um, person in a tin cup. And when I look at suffer, it's for detox. So it's, this character's in a detox tea. And it's because it's also good for hair, skin, nails. I have, um, well, you have its bones too. You can see the bones coming over the leg. And I'll get to why that picture looks so crazy. And then you can see the nails over the tin cup. And then it has long hair. And what, um, I'm showing a thigh because thiamine and biotin is used to synthesize sulfur. So having the tin cup, biotin, and the thigh, thiamine, you can remember that that's there for synthesizing of sulfur. <clears throat> and I did a video on B vitamins where it, it's really easy to recall that like B1 is thiamine and B7 is biotin. It's a, it's a really cool mnemonic. I can put the link down below after this. And so also it is for, so we have, let's see, it's for hair and in, hair, nail, skin, detox. So you got, she's suffering in a detox tea. So, and I love the hair. That's so fun. And then we have our protein. who's just hanging out with our suffering detox tea. All right. So the next one we have is phosphorus. And so with phosphorus, it sounds to me like fossil saurus. And so maybe you can see where I'm going with this. We're going to have, let's see, we are going to have a fossil. Let's put that fossil there. And you know what um, it's good for? Let's see. That's what stands out to me about phosphorus is for your DNA and RNA. And a really great way to remember that with fossilsaurus and phosphorus is if you ever watched Jurassic Park, they had the amber rock with the mosquito in it that carried DNA that helped create all the new um animals on Jurassic Park. So I think that would be a great memory to fossil source and you see the um, mosquito in the DNA. And then when you have uh, fossils in the ground, they, uh, let's see if I can find it. They have, uh, they kind of clean them up with like an acid. And so if you remember that, it's good for the acid levels. And uh, let's see. Uh, and also it's in every uh, tissue. So I drew a tissue like very gently laying over the fossils because sometimes they want to protect the area. So when you sketch it, you can just say, I'm going to protect it. You know, you tell yourself the story while you're writing it because that keeps that memory really strong. All right. And then we're going to go to the last one, which is calcium. And, you know, that sounds a lot like calcium. And so let's draw that cow. And if you see the cow has, uh, those are cow bones in the back. They look a little different because they don't know how to draw a cow bone. But we have cow bones in the back. We have muscles in the front. We have teeth. Oh, yes. And magnesium also has uh, teeth showing because they're good for teeth and calcium for teeth also. And one thing, too, about calcium, it's uh, good for clotting blood. So you could do like blood pudding. You could draw a little blood pudding thing that maybe the cow is like looking at or drinking. It was, um, I didn't want to, uh, you know, kind of uh, mix that photo up too much, but that's one that you could definitely add like a little blood. That's what I would do is a blood pudding in a cup, but it's just, I wanted you to be able to visualize it better. And I didn't think I'd draw a good enough, uh, like a jello cup or something for you to understand it. And so let's see. I think that's everything. So if you have questions, if uh, you want to understand something more in this drawing, please let me know and um, add what you want to and make it your own story. So that's Magnum's Yard. That's your macro minerals.